Clare City Council meeting of May 15th, 2017 in order. We do have a quorum. Let's please stand and pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. All individuals are asked to either silence or turn off cell phones, pages, or other electronic devices that may disrupt the meeting. Approve the agenda. Approve the agenda as posted in accordance with the open meeting law. And here I place all agenda items on the table for discussion. With Lori, you had an addition? Um, yes, under new business, item 9D would be resolution 2017 40, which is calling for a public hearing for TIF district number 40. I believe it's in your um, other folder. And then removal of item 7A1, the letting for the garbage carts. With those additions and removals, I have a motion. So, so moved. Second. Got a motion by Mayor Zilka and second by Council Member Lundberg. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Approval of the minutes. A copy of the minutes for the special work session meeting of May 1st, 2017 and the regular city council meeting of May 1st, 2017 are enclosed. What's the wish of the council? Make a motion to approve. Second. I got a motion by Council Member Gushek, second by Council Member Lundberg. Or, sorry, Liljegren. <laughs> for approval. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries approval of the bills. Checks number 96313 through 96423, totaling $427,363.37. Move to approve. Second. Got a motion by Councilmember Canoffla, second by Councilmember Hansen for approval of the bills. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Awards, donations, presentations. We've got a proclamation, Charles A. Lindbergh Day. Mayor. Okay, I signed a proclamation for Charles Lindbergh Day and I will quickly read that. Whereas Charles A. Lindbergh was a prominent member of Little Falls, Minnesota, and we are celebrating the 90th anniversary of his solo flight of 1927 from New York to Paris. And whereas Lindbergh's monumental contribution to aviation is recognized all over the world, and whereas today Lindbergh's legacy supports tourism development in Morrison County, making his childhood home a historical destination while bringing economic growth to the community. And whereas the determination of Lindbergh's flight efforts exemplifies the perseverance of our ancestors who established Little Falls, Minnesota as a progressive community. And whereas Lindbergh's personal efforts to set goals and pursue his dreams provides inspiration to others, especially to those raised in rural communities. And whereas Lindbergh continues to influence Little Falls School District with the Flyers activities by serving as a school mascot. And therefore, be it resolved that I, Gregory J. Zilka, Mayor of Little Falls, Minnesota, do hereby proclaim May 20th, 2017 as Charles A. Lindbergh Day and encourage residents to recognize the positive impact Charles A. Lindbergh has had on our community signed this day, fifth day of May, 2017th is when I signed it. Thank you. Thank you. Consent agenda, advertising benches, JMR2 Investments Incorporated, approve, airport commission minutes, April 2017 receive, animal control report, April 2017 receive, building department reports, March and April 2017 receive, fire department report, April 2017 receive, heritage preservation commission minutes, May 2017 receive, housing and redevelopment authority minutes, March and April 2017 receive, letter of support, food co-op coalition, national joint powers alliance receive, medallion hunt, dam Festival, Mid-Minnesota Federal Credit Union, approve. Park Rec and Tree Board minutes, April 2017 receive. Paying agents, register and transfer agent, North, Northland Trust Services, bond 2017A, appoint and authorize. Permanent structure, sale of fireworks license, Walmart, approve. Planning Commission minutes, April 2017 receive. Public Works, 
report, April 2017 receive. Show and dance permits, Rustic Saloon, June 17, 2017 approved. Wastewater treatment facility reports, March and April 2017 receive. Water treatment facility report, April 2017 receive. What's the wish of the council on the consent? Make a motion to approve. Second. Got a motion by Councilman Gushik and second by Councilmember Lilgeren. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Public hearings and lightings, on their lightings, rain gardens, Minnesota native landscape. Greg? Yes, uh, last year we installed four rain gardens throughout the city of Little Falls. We were um, fortunate enough to get some additional grant funds or extra grant funds from Morrison County Soil and Water. This year, uh, the Mississippi Headwaters Board has some uh, funds left over that they are willing to let the city use um, in the amount of $20,000 to go towards rain gardens. So tonight, I would ask the council to award the quote of $9,222 from Minnesota to native landscapes out of Otsego to uh, plant those four rain gardens um, and to be charged to the to the project. We are still working on the exact locations of those those rain gardens um, and we potentially may have more but right now we're looking at uh, at just those four uh, for this evening. What's the wish of the council? So moved. Second. Got a motion by council member Hansen, second by council member Kanafla for approval. Any discussion? Greg, if they're giving us twenty thousand, we're spending nine. The balance of money. Our staff will um, will get reimbursed for their time to do the construction. We've got curb and gutter that we'll have to remove and replace. We've got other items that we have to purchase yet to actually make the uh, the rain garden work. So we'll use up the the twenty thousand dollars for those rain gardens. Greg, where are the existing four? The, we have two of them at the uh, courthouse, or not the courthouse, but the parking lot near the library, the new one that we installed last year. We've got one on the south end of the Initiative Foundation and one on the Third Street Project just um, south of the Street Department. To look for them. Yep. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Removal, sidewalk obstruction, rim masonry. Uh, this evening in front of you, we've got a quote from Rim Masonry to remove the uh, sidewalk obstruction. It's essentially a stairway going down to the basement of the building on 1st and 1st. Uh, we talked about this once uh, once before earlier this year. We've been trying to uh, work with the owner in terms of removing that, and we've we've come to an agreement to, uh, to be able to remove that. We have removed coal chutes in the past in terms of um, uh, replacing the sidewalk and everything in, in front of them. It does pose a, a hazard to the pedestrians with the coal chute or even this uh, the stairway in there in there so we feel it's in the best interest to get that uh, get that taken care of the quote from rim masonry is five thousand four hundred and ten dollars that would be charged to the PIR permanent improvement revolving fund and that's where we've uh, what we've done with other coal chutes in the in the past <coughs> so what should the council I'll make a motion to remove it second Got a motion by Council Member Gushek, second by Council Member Lundberg. Any discussion? Are there any more coal shoots in town? <clears throat> Isn't there a stairway by Pete and Joyce? There is a, it's not a coal chute, but there is, there's a stairway at Pete and Joyce, but there's also a, um, uh, it's not a coal chute, but it's a, a drop off in front of Pete and Joy's. There's a manhole in front of the Pete and Joy's. They actually use it to deliver flour. So they deliver it there, drop down the man or the manhole, and they catch it and bring it inside. In terms of the coal chutes themselves, um, I'm not aware of any, but I'm sure there's some around uh, just because historically Little Falls is, a, is, is an old town and that's what they've used in the past to, to heat it. We've been taking care of them whenever we've been uh, finding them, um, but they always seem to pop up. 
Well, I was just wondering why this is more dangerous than Pete and Joy's. It's, uh, it's the same situation pretty much. True. Um, this one, it, it takes a considerable amount of sump money to repair them or get it into a shape where it's not a hazard. Um, you know, this one doesn't have the slats, you know, four inches apart in order to stop someone from falling down it. Uh, we, will be do we would be doing work there regardless because of the sidewalk project. And with grinding it away and stuff, it just, it, it, I felt that it was going to be more of a hazard than it would be worth having. And after speaking with the owner um, and coming to an agreement in terms of being able to replace it and then replace the sidewalk, um, they were willing to, to go ahead and have that removed. I was just, you know, maybe it's something to look at in the future, but maybe get a hold of Pete and Joyce and see if there's a way that can be removed. There's no one else has that kind of access to their buildings. True. Uh, and this Are they still using the theirs? Mm -hmm. They do. Yeah, they do. Yes. Okay, it looks theirs. a little different. And that one, that one was just reconstructed. I want to say 2008, 2009 timeframe. The so stairs or the manhole? The stairs. Okay. The stairs. So they it'll be put a railing around it. They put yeah, a railing, and they even they redid the steps going down uh, okay. in order to to meet standards for for stairway. So it'll be. It'll be a while before we get back to that area to do any sort of reconstruction because 2nd Street was reconstructed at that time. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, aye. Aye. same sign. Motion carries. Res <laughs> old business, resolution 2017-36, approved plans and specs, call for bids, public improvement PR, sidewalk, Greg? At our last meeting, we had the public hearing for our sidewalk project. Tonight, we are asking the council to approve the plans and specs uh, so we can get uh, pricing for our, our project. I do expect it to uh, be less than what we had last year simply because of the quantities that we, we have, um, but I would ask the council that we approve the plans and specs and go ahead and uh, authorize staff to get pricing for that. The wish of the council. I'll make a motion. I'll second it. Got a motion by Council Member Liljegren, second by Council Member Gushik for approval of resolution 2017 36. Any discussion? Hearing none, resolution, call the roll, please. Gushik? Yes. Lundberg? Yes. Silka? Yes. Ampler? Yes. Liljegren? Yes. Kanopla? Yes. Hansen? Yes. Carries. Bump out review. We discussed this a little bit at the uh, at the work session uh, at the January 17th meeting. The council uh, approved having uh, temporary bump outs installed at First and First Northeast over by the police station. Um, they were f installed on the 24th of April and they've been up ever since. Um, I know we've, we've talked a little bit about that at the at the work session in terms of the reasoning behind it, in terms of gathering information, in terms of the public or the uh, pedestrians as well as the uh, the uh, traveling public. Um, so I guess it's it's up to the council in terms of how long we want to allow them to have the, uh, the, the delineators up there. We can definitely take them down at any point in time. Um, so I, I guess I'd open it up to the, to the council and see when you want to have those uh, taken or removed. So they've been up there roughly three weeks? Yep. Yep. I think they serve their purpose, you know, what you were looking for, and just to extend the time frame, I mean, extend it out, it's not really serving anything. I would, uh, I would probably personally like to see them removed. Mr. So President, after the recommendation of the Chief of Police, I would uh, make a motion to have them removed as soon as possible. I'll second that. Got a motion by Mayor Zilka and second by Councilmember Kanafla to have the bump out removed. Tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock. Yeah, I was going to say <laughs> We'll get to it as soon as we can. This week. I can't promise 8 o'clock, yeah. but I can promise this week. There at 7:30. <laughs> Any help? Any other discussion? <laughs> They'll be down before you guys get there. <laughs> Stacked on the sidewalk. Hearing none. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Same sign. Motion carries. Except letter of retirement from Dave Stump. Police Department, appoint Trey Swanson, full-time peace officer. Chief? Good evening. Um, I received a letter from David Stump uh, indicating his intent to retire on July 31st. 
So that will be a big loss. He's uh, played a big role in the community with the school resource officer position and uh, just all the good work that he does. So uh, we'll be sad to see him go. Uh, as part of that, I would uh, recommend the hiring of Trey Swanson. He is already working part-time for us, and uh, I would uh, request that his f first full-time day be August 1st. What's the wish of the council? I make a motion to accept a letter of resignation and to hire Trey Swanson. Letter of retirement? Not resignation? Retirement. Yeah, well, it says in your resignation. Oh. It says in the bill. If you actually read the letter, it's retirement. retirement. We'll call it retirement. I'm okay <laughs> with that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it does say resignation there. It's a key have a second? Second. I get up. Motion by Councilmember Gushek, second by Councilmember Hansen for approval and accept. Any discussion? Well, if we vote no, does. Can we stop Dave from retiring? We can try. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Would um, Officer Swanson then be the, at the high school doing the same job? No, no. We opened uh, up the school resource officer position internally to officers who are more experienced, and uh, we're going through that process right now. He would, uh, uh, Mr. Swanson would be a, a patrol officer. Would you be replacing a uh, part-time position? Mr. Swanson's? Yes, yes. It's a ways out yet. Uh, um, John and I and Lori are working on our, our new uh, process, how we're going to uh, create that list and then what that's going to look like when we actually fill a vacancy. So we're working through that process right now. Chief, do you know how many years Stump was with us? He started a month before I did, so it would have been 1997. I believe I started in October, so he would have started in September, I believe. Okay. Well, I'd like to thank him for his service. He's done a great job for us up at the schools. He has. He's a valued member of the department and the community. He does a great job. Any other discussion? <coughs> Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Accept recommendation of Planning Commission, conditional use permit, Andrew Ebert. At their May 8th meeting, the Planning Commission held a, uh, a public hearing for the conditional use permit um, for a uh, commercial daycare um, at the location of Prairie Drive. Basically, if you look on the screen behind me, it's at the location of Prairie Drive where it uh, makes the angle going, uh, going to the north there. Um, the picture's a little bit wrong. This would be squared off here, but essentially this is the corner where they'd be looking at, uh, at having that, uh, that commercial daycare. The Planning Commission is recommending appro approval of that conditional use permit. I would add two conditions on that, one being that a, a final plat would eventually be approved for that location as well as revising the master plan for the Sunrise Edition to uh, address that. Currently there is a master plan that shows this area as residential, but just to um, be consistent, we should get that uh, updated as well. And I know Mr. Ebert is here uh, this evening if you have any questions for, uh, for him specifically. What is the wish of the council? I'd make a motion to approve the recommendation from the Planning Commission. I second. Got a motion by Mayor Zoka, second by Council Member Lundberg for approval. Any discussion? Mr. President, yep. uh, I've met Mr. Ebert before. Uh, this is something needed in our community. Um, I know there's uh, a shortage of the services that will be rendered there, so um, I think it will be a great addition to our community. And through the discussion we had at the Planning Commission, it's going to bring in 14 employees. Mm -hmm. uh, that's good for the community. You know, if we get 50 employees, we're happy, and 14 is getting close up there, so I think it's a good good thing for the community. And this kind of use is allowed in a residential area, <coughs> different than a school or any that kind of stuff, so it's not like we're, he's trying to do something that's correct restricted in a residential area, so. So just for clarification, does that include the, the two conditions, the plat as well as the master plan update? Yes. Okay. Any other discussion? 
Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Resolution 2017-39, call for public hearing, tax increment finance district number 39, DJ Products. Lori? Um, we've been meeting with DJ Products. They would like to construct a new building south of their existing facility. Um, that area that they're going to be building on was an old farmstead site, and there are a lot of footings, foundations, that kind of stuff in the ground, and they're requesting um, some help through tax increment financing to get that part of it cleaned up. So today we'd be looking at calling for a public hearing to um, initiate that project and the TIF district. So what should the council? Do I have a motion? I'll Aye. make the motion to approve resolution 201739. Second. Got a motion by Council Member Gushak, second by Mayor Zilka for approval of resolution 2017 39. Any discussion? This was also <clears throat> recommended from the EDA today at their meeting. Any other discussion? Hearing none, resolution, call the roll, please. Lundberg? Yes. Silka? Yes. Ampler? Yes. Liljegren? Yes. Tanopla? Yes. Hansen? Yes. Gushik? Yes. Carries. Resolution 2017-40, TIF District number 40. Um, Friday we met with another company that is interested in moving and expanding their business to Little Falls. Um, they are looking at some property in the Chief Hole in the Day Industrial Park um, near the um, water tower, just east of the water tower. So this resolution would call for a public hearing the same night on um, June 19th, the same night that we're holding the one on DJ Products. Again, um, EDA spoke about this. We talked about this at our meeting at noon, and they are in favor of it. What's the wish of the council? I make a re I make a motion. Second. Got a motion by Councilmember Lodgren, second by Councilmember Kanafla for approval. Any discussion? Is this a confidential business yet? Is that? Oh, um, no. It's ABS Supply is the name of the company. Do you know what that is, ABS Supply? They sell, um, prod distribute products that are used for sandblasting or other types of activities like those. It isn't strictly just sandblasting, but um, any type of um, smaller media that's used to, to, to do that work. So Brace of blasting? Brace of blasting supplies is what it stands for. Mr. President, I think it's exciting that we're talking about uh, one business in the community expanding and potentially two new businesses coming in. So things are looking good, better. Any other discussion? Hearing none, resolution, call the roll, please. Silka? Yes. Ampler? Yes. Liljegren? Yes. Kanopla? Yes. Hansen? Yes. Gushik? Yes. Lundberg? Yes. Carries. Anyone got anything? Boards, bureaus, or commissions? Mr. President, I would just like to recognize that today is a National Peace Officers Memorial Day and to thank all of our officers for, um, and that's for all around us, statewide, even countrywide, for all the hard work that they do and putting their lives on the line for us. To keep us safe every day, so thank you very much, Chief. Pass that on. Any announcements? Oh, okay. Um, I'm sure you'll hear about it, but uh, we had uh, two different crashes today. One uh, created a complete shutdown of Highway 10 northbound at the 371 split, and uh, that was a serious accident, and uh, the State Patrol was out doing reconstruction on that, so you'll hear that uh, through, I called the radio to update the public, but that would be released through the State Patrol. But then we did have another crash over at uh, 9th Avenue and Lindbergh Drive North, and that created a backup all the way to the post office. So. Yeah, with the, the detour for the railroad. So just those two items. So that was both occurred at the same time today. So. <laughs> Anyone else? John? Um, I'd also like to announce that our website is up, the city website. So www.cityoflittlefalls.com, all one word. Um, or Google search Little Falls, Minnesota. I think we're the first one that pops up. So um, with that, there's a sliding banner on the top of the page that has about four sliding photos. 
And what I'd love to see is uh, community involvement in sending us, submitting to us some some photos uh, of our community. Um, you know, it could be pretty much anything that, that represents or reflects our community. Uh, we need about 200 photos to change that slider every week and make it seasonally appropriate. So if you have things out there, um, please send them, to, uh, follow the link and send them to us. Um, look for, for that to change this week, we'll, we'll have uh, the directions for the submission. Um, by no means does submitting your photo guarantee that it's going to be on there or when it's going to be on there. We'll try to keep, keep people informed if, uh, if, they, if they want uh, when things might go up. But um, mostly you will um, be credited if you want to. Uh, we have a couple up there right now um, crediting people for, for the photo that they, they've given us. So our, so if, uh, if you get that, please uh, take a look at the website and follow the link for more instructions when it's up there. Anyone else? Uh, yes, Mr. President. Last Monday, I attended the extravaganza committee meeting as a guest, and at that time, I did get our whole sponsorship in. Um, uh, so the city council, I, I refer to it as city council and staff sponsoring a whole. Um, Private funds out of pocket, 10 bucks a head. Uh, uh, I have a list of people who have participated, and I did have to pony up the last 40 bucks on my own. So if there's anybody else that would like to participate in that, that'd be great. There's 20. No, you only had to go 20. <laughs> Thank you. Two rich guys right next to you. That's from me and Jeremy. You were already in. Was I? Well, wow. yeah. I'll pay for Wayne. Wayne's already. Anyone? I'm in. We, we can else? do this after after we go okay. into recess. <laughs> recess the 17th at 1 p.m. Council Chambers. We can do it after recess. <laughs> no play for me in the playground. Oh, don't you remember? You handed me a five and five ones. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>